All right, all right, all right. It is time for our next game of iCast, your freaking awesome replays. And down here on the bottom right-hand side of the map in the red, playing Terran, it is Bulldozed AU. Up here in the top left-hand side in the blue, representing Team Unrivaled, it is Gioni. Now, I'm not sure if Gioni sent this in or not, but I am very familiar with Gioni. I think I've seen Gioni in chat. I can't remember if Gioni's name is still Gioni in chat, but I know I've cast Gioni in like CTL before, um, probably multiple times at this point. Definitely a regular community member of just like the, the awesome StarCraft community, so... I imagine it's Joni that sent this in, but who knows? Bulldozed AU. AU normally is Australia. Maybe this person's a construction worker in Australia or something. They like to bulldoze things. They work They work demo, demolition maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Could be sent in from either player. We'll take a look. Of course, guys, if you're, if you're just tuning in, the challenge at the moment that we're casting is Crash Course, where players are to show their most disgusting and ridiculous all-ins. Now, if you want to get your replays in for next week, remember, you can always find the up-to-date challenge by going to my Twitch stream on your desktop. Don't do it on your phone because people can never find the chat on their phone. It's there. It's just a bit harder to find. Twitch.tv forward slash X5 underscore pig and just type exclamation mark ICFAR. I-C-Y-F-A-R. Even if I'm offline and hosting another stream, my Nightbot will always give you the up-to-date challenge information. And that is bait and switch. Make your opponent believe they won, and then crush them decisively. So, that means you got to do some trickery. Now, how does that work, guys? I'm thinking some Florencio-style stuff. You do some cheesy shit or something that goes on, and then you start expanding to the corners, and if they get your main base, they think they've won, but you've actually got a whole infrastructure is almost all outside of your base in a corner of the map. That's one way to do it. Um, oh, it's a hard challenge. Don't get me wrong. Make your opponent believe they've won, and then crush them? This is, this is Reaper into Ghost, by the way. Holy shit, this is going to be lit. This is going to be sick. Going to talk about this in a sec, guys. Going to talk about this in a sec. Um, but yeah, there's a few other awesome ideas. I was talking to Eon Blue about it just before. We're like, oh yeah, you could do this. You could do that. Um, and and he, he was pointing out, you know, not as many people will send in replays this week because it's hard to do a bait and switch challenge. That means you guys have a way higher chance of getting your replays actually selected. So because we're doing a harder challenge, actually you should realize it's way easier to get your replay into these weird, more niche challenges. So bait and switch is the challenge. Make your opponent think they've won and uh, send us the replay of that uh, after you uh, change it up and then try to defeat them. Could still be a loss. Doesn't matter too much. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we've got a ghost down here. Another ghost as well. Did he cancel the Reaper? Okay, he canceled the Reaper. He's got Cloak on it. So it's a Cloak Ghost Rush. The problem is the opponent has a wall. <laughs> so you can walk up here with Cloak Ghosts all you want, but if there's depots there, like you can't get into the SCVs and your Cloak's going to run down. Not to mention Terran players have scan. That's a friggin' late orbital from Bulldozed. <laughs> the hell, man? He's making his orbital at three minutes. That's so late. He's gonna go for a Hellion drop as well. Holy shit, this game's gonna get so fucking disgusting. Back at home, we've got a factory here for Gioni, who I would love to see go for a nuke. You do need a factory, I believe, to, to get nukes started on the Ghost Academy. I think it's just factory. Yeah, it's just a factory. So we've got two ghosts there, a third one on the way. He's gonna start trying to work his way up. Oh! Bulldozed is moving out with the Hellion timing. He's going to go for an expansion on the low ground and the wall is down. Oh shit, please don't let this be that message about how you should leave your door locked or a couple of crazed maniacs can walk in and murder your whole family. Oh no! Oh! Raise it! Raise it! He didn't even cloak! Raise it! No! Oh shit, he doesn't have a scan. His engineering bay isn't finished either. Oh, these ghosts are having a party right now. The drilly boys are trying to run. The ghosts are like, nah, mate, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you walking to, mate? Where are you walking to? Why are you walking away from me? Oi, look at me. Look at me while I shoot you in the face. Look at me while I shoot you in the face. The SCVs are like, can you fucking stop? We're unarmed. Oh, he gets locked out. Gioni fucks it. Oh no. Gioni lets himself get locked out. He fucked it up. He's going for a Ghost Academy behind this. He thinks he's way ahead, and then he goes, Oh, shit. Zero units at home. Can he get the surround? Oh, my God! The Hellions letting themselves actually take a lot of damage here. It's all on the SCVs to defend this, but oh, my God. They line up, and bulldozed AU is about to bulldoze this worker line. Holy friggin' shit. Geo, I thought the Hellions were going to get surrounded. Ah. 
I was like, surely these Hellions get surrounded, right? That's the only way Geodi doesn't just straight up die here. He's trying to repair here, but oh man, everything's getting wrecked. He kills one of the four Hellions and Geodi's economy is dead. Back at home, four ghosts. And he's going to drop a nuke right there. Oh my god, the Drilly boys are going to try to repair. He's trying to build a turret, but dude, 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 dude. He's, he's nuking you right here. Oh no. The Hellions have eradicated Joni's main base, but he can drop mules in a little bit. Ooh, gets up out half of the SCVs, breaks the wall down. Joni's in the main base. And that is four ghosts with Cloak. Having cloaked units in a base trade. We saw how that worked out in the last game, didn't we? Oh my god. There is a siege tank that's going to come out. Is an armored unit, which means the ghosts do take a while to kill it. But I don't think it can beat four ghosts. Um, okay, we've got the Hellions still up there. Bulldoze is laughing. He's like, dude, this game's sick. <laughs> the siege tank comes out. Oh my god. It's not shooting the correct ghost. No. Oh my god. Okay, he gets one ghost, but only one. Oh man, there's a Liberator, but the Liberator, it can try to siege up. Let's see how stupid these ghosts are. Let's see. Can this... Oh my god, that ghost's really dumb. Doesn't even matter. They shoot the Lib down way too fast, man. Okay, Hellion's gonna come back. Hellion's gonna come back. Oh, he's microing his ghosts. He's microing them. Cloak, 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 cloak. Oh, he didn't cloak on the ghost, but it doesn't matter. Two of them survive. One with four air points, one with 25. <laughs> Bulldozed. Oh my god, he's out of minerals. There's mules mining back at home. There's CV comes, gets a kill, goes down. Oh my god, GG. Holy shit, that drilly boy as well. I love that. One ghost with 20 kills standing here. He's got that mad, I think that's the covert op skin, right? It's a pretty sick skin. Another one comes in and joins. Bulldoze is like, oh, maybe I can get a mule. Second ghost comes in and says, nope. Nope, not gonna happen. GG, proxy ghost there. Beautiful replay from, <laughs> I imagine that's from Chioni. <laughs> that was awesome. That was, that was super sick, guys. That was super sick. Oh my God, GG, GG, GG.